Welcome back to Mr. Think Smart Show. Today, before we get to our guest, I'm representing Bethune Cookman. We in the building. Yeah, Bethune Cookman, I'm representing you. HBCUs all day long, you know how I do it. So Bethune Cookman, stand up, all right? Who I got today, special guest, man. This guy right here, man. <laughs> this guy right here got St. Louis on, uh, I don't even want to say Lit ain't even the word for you, bro. I'm lit, fire, I'm live, all that good stuff. All right, man. <laughs> DJ Tab. What's going on, baby? What's up, man? I'm good, man. You got your own radio station now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before we get into that, man, tell you your, your journey. You don't got to go into, like, you know, the whole journey. But tell, them, tell the people about you getting started. Okay. Uh, originally, I started when I was 11. 11. You know what I I started just for fun, you know what I'm saying? I like music. And then my old dude was into DJing. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, when I was younger, I used to, like, go in and set up equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. But I was too young, I was really too young to be in the clubs that he was in. So, <laughs> I used to go set it up and then go home. Mm -hmm. But uh, what really got me into DJing was when I was at home watching BT and the movie Juice came on. Nah. And that was my first time seeing a DJ like actually scratch for real. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I, want, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. So she was like, well, okay, well, you know, you get, get good grades, I play the turntables. Mm -hmm. So seventh grade, first semester, I got straight A's and she bought the turntables. Right. And then that was on the on, 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 on. <laughs> Now, recently you have a transition from the radio mm -hmm. um, to your own station. Right. And that's dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you created your own radio station. Yeah. So, so initially, uh, I created a station. I, well, I started creating it back in November mm -hmm. of uh, 2017. Yeah, 2017. 2017. And, um, but I was still work, working at the Highland 4.1 here, mm -hmm. station here in St. Louis. And uh, just back in May, they fired me mm -hmm. over some. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so I understand. Yeah. And honestly, you know what I'm saying? By them fire me, it just made me go harder. You know? right, so right. I was like, man, forget this. I'm, I'm, I'm really going hard. Because, you know, like when you working in the corporate world and you sit on your own thing, you got to kind of watch how you move a little bit mm -hmm. and do certain things. Mm -hmm. And when I was at 104 and I was still doing my own station or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I knew, I knew that it's like certain things I already can't do just yet because I'm still working with, with them. Mm -hmm. But when they fired me, I was like, well, yeah, you know, with it, let's go. Right. So, and they fired me one morning, and uh, come that evening, I get an email from Central City. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say what, what department, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, they was like, "Hey, we heard what happened. Mm -hmm. We want to um, do a contract with your station, and not renew it one on four point one." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Yeah." Hey. And that, now that they kind of try to work a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, no doubt, no yeah, doubt. So, and pretty much all I did was just um, hire some of the hot, you know, DJs here mm -hmm. that one on four on the beach of the heart. Mm -hmm. So pretty much I built the dream team, you know what I'm saying, with the guys that these stations didn't want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that they, they, they blown their phone up, man, come over here with us now. Wow. You know what I mean, but these are guys that I've been known, I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they loyal. They're not going to leave me to go over there with them. Right, 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 right. I mean, and I, I'm, I, I'm not going to stop them if, 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 if they wanted to for real. No, right. I, I want to see guys, you know what I'm saying, progress and grow. You know what I mean? But, to be honest, they are, they are. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Asia Majak, like you know it. And y'all are tuned in to the Mr. Think Smart show on Think Smart TV. Yo, we back. We're still with DJ Tab. Hey, we still representing Bethune Cookman. Stand up. I'm telling you, HBCU, we doing it real big. Yeah. So, Tab, so you were discussing. You discussed a little bit about your transition, mm -hmm. but before we go on to that, man, um, you've been everywhere, bro. Yeah. You've been everywhere. Like, you do homecomings, you do um, professional parties, you even do, um, man, why you ain't did BET yet, man? Ain't, ain't, I'm, I'm not BET. You did BET. Yeah, yeah, let's, talk, let's talk about that, your journeys and the, your accomplishments, man, over the years. That's, well, yeah, I mean, I've been on TV several times. Yeah. Um, but I was really on TV, like when TV is really TV, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. BT is really BT, and TV is really on TV. I've been on TRL, I've been on Mr. Kapar. Yeah. With AJ and Free. Yeah. I've been on Rap City in the Basement. Yeah. I was uh, VH1. I, I'm, I, I'm in a movie that's coming out next fall. I'm mm -hmm. in it's called, uh, it's called Rock the Fan. It's called Rock. It's like a gangster type action type fan. Okay, got it. Got you it. a DJ in there? No, I, I, I wasn't. You, you an actor? Yeah, yeah. DJ yeah. Tab tapping into acting. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, I got gunshot scenes all that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> and what's so crazy though is that we shot that right in the hood, right here by Fairground Park. Wow. So he's like, you talking come on, you know, Fairground Park, we in the hood. Yeah. Gunshots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, it, it's it, real. It, it was yeah, real. Yeah, real St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. It's crazy because I'm a, I got a, you know, I'm a writer myself, so I got a couple of things I'm writing. So yeah, I don't know if I'm come home and do it, but I might come home and do some things though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2019 gonna be a big year. Yeah, man. For real. Yeah. 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 So, now the studio, your own studio. Yeah, that's what we're in now. So yeah. we're still working. On. Let let them know where your studio. The way you uh, gotta let them know where it's at, cause you just did exclusive. I, I tell them, uh, I mean, look, the station now is uh, uh located in St. Louis, uh, forty four seventeen Olive Street. Right. Yeah. So um, this this where we at? You know what I'm saying? We got eighteen twenty DJs. So and. Bottom boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the so station wise, uh, um, your times, your, your your angles. What do you got on your station? Um, pretty much. I mean, I, what, what I can say about my station and my guys is that none of the shows sound the same. You know, they mm-hmm. listen to like the B or the one four. It kind of it's kind of repetitive or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. like, even from the jocks, you know, it's talking about the same thing. Mm-hmm. No, and I knew that. I mean, when I made the station, I want I want. Wanted to be different when it came to, you know, saying the guys been on the station because they, mm-hmm. they all have different styles with them, you know. So some guys, I mean, cater more to R&B to the women. Some guys um, turn up the whole time. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I mean, my, my female jock, you know what I'm saying? Team on the system side and into the whole women thing. She AKA, you know. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so um, the, 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 I got a guy that's Puerto Rican, whatever. You know, mm-hmm. So he plays a uh, reggaeton, some Latino music, mm-hmm. plus the hip hop music that we play. Here too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's 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 it's, 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 it's not just one one main base of hip hop, whatever. Because hip hop is is so wide. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like still, you know what I mean? Reggae tone and and the tin music. I mean, still has the most genres in this in one in one genre. Mm-hmm. So and I didn't I didn't even know that till I hired this guy. He like me. I mean, you know, just, I mean, just goes deep than just reggae tone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I mean, now I'm learning more about that side. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, I mean, and I've been DJing for 20 plus years, and then the, all, all, all I knew was Daddy Yankee and Pitbull. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, right. But, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, my station, uh, it sounds unique. So, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and we're not even, even FM, we are digital. All digital, wow, that's deep. And, uh, and, I mean, people keep asking, why don't you go, why don't you go FM or whatever, go that way. Because if I go FM or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Once I go FM, I mean, my station is, is not governed by us, it's governed by the NCC. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're the ones that they govern what you can and can't say, can and can't play. And I don't want to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want them to say whatever's on their mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because people nowadays. Or again, be organic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because people nowadays don't want to hear the water down stuff no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's one reason why FM Radio isn't as effective as it used to be for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because people. People got X and Radio or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I come on Shady 45 with X and Radio still. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you got my station where people could tune in and, and, and hear the, 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 the roster. Mm-hmm. So, and that's where we at, you know what I'm saying? Man, in, in, in eight months, we already over a million streams. So. Right, that's <laughs> big. You see that over, over a million streams, so that's deep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit you up when it comes to when I stream my show. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, for me, for me, for me for what can we do anywhere between 100? A hundred to two thousand listens a month. That's yeah, good. Yeah. So, and then um, one thing about me, um, me being a boss now, whatever. You know, so I just learned from being a one on four what to do, what not to do with my guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like when I was a one on four, I didn't get promoted. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything I did with them came out of my own pocket. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, especially like, to promote myself for real. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I told myself like, when I do this, I want. Promote my guys. Yeah, I mean, so all my guys with me on Billboard. Yeah, all kind of stuff. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, cause I'm a soft believer. You know what I'm saying? You keep employees happy. There you, you go. Fine. You know what I'm saying? Right. There you go. Man, you heard it with DJ Tab. Man, <laughs> on the Mr. Think Smart Show. We yeah. thank you for watching. And like I say all the time, we salute the divinity in you, my man, yeah. DJ Tab. Rock to St. Louis. Oh, yeah. Holla at us. Peace.